everyone, I'm Katie Fox and welcome to my spoiler free review of Resident Evil Village. I'm not going to go into too much detail but I did want to get a review up. I finished playing it about two weeks ago and I have some thoughts so if you're interested in hearing them or interested in seeing what I thought of it and whether or not it's worth the money, stick around. So Resident Evil Village. It's a continuation of the last Resident Evil game with the same main character, Ethan Winters, and Mia, and etc etc etc. Already going in, you know it's going to be similar to the first game of that particular series of Resident Evil games. So if you're expecting like a mansion, old school Resident Evil, which is my personal favorite, it's not that. <laughs> Don't let that put you off right away. Um, I do have some good news. So like with any Resident Evil, I think that they have a lot, a lot, a lot of potential. And I think sometimes they can't quite stick the landing because I find that, especially as I was playing through it, I noticed a lot of references to Silent Hill um, PT in particular. There's definitely a pretty, like a, a, a substantial boss fight that is very, it just screams PT. Um, and for me, as a Silent Hill fan, who adores the series, that was like a knife in the chest because I would love to have another Silent Hill game. I'm far more keen on that than I am Resident Evil, just because with Silent Hill it's a little bit more psychological, and since I went to school for psychology, it just speaks to me more. Now. That's not to say that Resident Evil Village is a bad game at all. It's just different. It's not what you think of when you think of Resident Evil. But if you liked the previous game, you absolutely will like this one. The bosses are really, really intense. The fights are pretty epic. The, the only thing I have a bit of a problem with is that the characters that they were really using in their promotional material are not super in the game. They are, but not for very long. So it felt like kind of, kind of like a little white lie. Um, not that that's a problem because the rest of the game is fine, but I do think that there are some things that could be worked on. I can't go into that without giving spoilers, but just common sense things <laughs> to make the story like more frustrating or more, I don't know, Resident Evil-esque. I know it sounds like I'm hating on it, but I'm, I'm really not. There's some narrative choices that don't make a whole ton of sense, but that's part and parcel to playing a Resident Evil game. Is the combat system fun? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely it is. I had a blast, you know, shooting my way through things. Um, this game, unlike other games, and it was a little bit like that in the previous game as well, um, it's, a, it's far more supernatural than other Resident Evil games. So to me, that was actually kind of an added bonus. It added something that hadn't really been done before, and gave the game a little bit more to work with, let's say. Um, I did find the overall story to be quite touching. It really is a story about family and about love and the strength of your love and your character and what you're willing to do for your family. So I do think that the story is strong, especially for a Resident Evil game, and I do think that the characters are easy to root for and easy to find yourself in. Is it anything like most Resident Evil games? No. It's definitely different. It seems like they're heading in a different direction, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. All things have to evolve. All things have to move forward. 
it just is what it is. Um, I prefer, like for me, I would rather play through Resident Evil 1, the remaster. I would play through that constantly, all the time, because that for me is more of what I'm looking for in a Resident Evil game. But that's not to say that other people won't enjoy it. it I think I, it took about 10 hours to beat, so you do get a decent amount of play time. Oh, I, I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed it for what it was. Is it necessarily Resident Evil? Yes and no. It's not the quintessential Resident Evil. It's not what you grew up loving. But it's not a bad thing. So if you're open to playing a game that's a little bit different from its predecessors, um, that is more akin to the previous game, I definitely think that you should check it out. Ethan Winters is a compelling character. He is a fun character to play as. He's a total badass. He'll do anything for his family. If that kind of stuff thrills you, if shooting monsters and big scary bosses and having supernatural jump scares and all that kind of good stuff sounds like a good time, I totally recommend picking it up. Now because it is only 10 hours of playtime, I would recommend picking it up when it's on sale just because you don't get to play for that long, I suppose. I expect a little bit more out of my games, but survival horror games in general aren't too long, so it is what I was expecting. But overall, if you are a Resident Evil fan and you've been curious about trying it, I say if it's on sale, you should absolutely pick it up. You should give it a shot. I don't think that you'll be disappointed. The differences and the supernatural elements and the things that make it a little bit different from older Resident Evil games are definitely present, but it's not in a bad way. You just have to accept it for what it is, enjoy it for what it is, and not wish that it was something that it's not, because it's different now, and that's okay. So yeah, even though I am a much larger fan of the Silent Hill series, and honestly, if you want, I, I did a video on my la on my other channel where I described all the monsters in Silent Hill and what they um, symbolize to James in Silent Hill 2. If you're interested in videos like that, I could totally do another one of those because I think the mythos and um, all of the psychological horror elements of Silent Hill is truly what makes it in a superior survival horror game. Um, but again, that's not to hate on Resident Evil. I think you know what you're getting when you buy the game. So I hope this has given you an idea of what to expect, that it is a little bit different, but that it's not totally a bad thing, and I think you will have a blast playing it. It was lots of fun. It keeps you busy. So if that's something that you're looking for, just pick it up when it's on sale and give it a shot. All right, I hope that answers some questions for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, leave them down in the comments below. Um, if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think other people would benefit from watching the video, please give it a share. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.